Hello and welcome to the lesson 17 of OpenSaba. In the previous lesson, we saw how we can synchronize persistent and calculated properties using JPA callback methods. This in order to execute business logic in any point in the life cycle of an entity. You can see more about this lesson following the link here. In this lesson, we will see how we can establish business logic from our database using the formula annotation. Another alternative to calculation or having calculated persistent properties synchronized is the formula annotation. Formula is a Hibernate extension for the JPA standard that allows us to map a property to SQL statement. For example, we can define estimated profit with the formula notation in commercial document as shown in this code. We open commercial document and declare here a new big decimal field named estimated profit. We will use here the stereotype annotation for money the setter annotation with an access level of none that's because we only uh, use the getter not the setter it's not necessary and use here or dot hibernate annotations formula And we declare here the code to be executed in our database that will be total amount and that's it we say here and we have finished. This means that when a commercial document is read from the database the estimated profit field will be filled with the calculation of the formula that is done by the database. The user can filter an ordering by formula properties in the list mode, but they are always read-only and are not recalculated in real-time in the detail mode. Since they are read-only, they don't need the setter method. So we use the setter with the access level none to prevent Lombok from generating the setter. Also, uh, the formula notation properties are database dependent since we can use a syntax that only supports a certain database provider. We can now execute our application and see the results. When we enter, if we go to this mode, we can see here that we have the estimated profit field that is filled with the data from the formula that we are using in the database. Remember that this is read-only information and we have here the functionalities to short these values. So this is another way to establish business logic, in this case using the dat or database. In this lesson, we saw how we can use the formula annotation to establish business logic from our database. Be aware that formula annotation depends from the syntax that supports the vendor of our working database. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future content, like this video and leave a comment. See you soon!